Hi, I'm Mitch Album, author of Tuesdays with Maury and Five People You Meet in Heaven. My new book's called The Timekeeper. It's a novel. It obviously deals with the whole question of time, which is something that I've seen that my readers and, and myself have been grappling with, and I think pretty much everybody in America. How much time do we have? Are we running out of time? How are we using our time? I think I was looking out the window and I saw a deer run across, and, and I said, you know, that deer has never looked at a watch. I always feel the bigger the topic, the smaller the story. That's why I think fables, morality tales, and even biblical tales, that they're always short, and yet they carry these huge, huge lessons. And I thought, well, maybe I can make this book about time sort of my invention of the Father Time legend. He's actually a young man, the first man on earth, thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, to begin to count time. He's punished by the heavens because they're watching down and they're going, you're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be enjoying your life. That's why we gave you the planet and the world and everything. What's with the counting? He ends up being punished by being banished to a cave where he has to spend the rest of eternity listening to all the voices from people on Earth who ask for more time and more minutes and more hours. He's given the opportunity to come back to Earth. And if he can find two people on Earth that he can teach the real meaning of time, one who doesn't want enough time and one who wants too much, then and only then will he be freed from his sort of purgatory and be allowed to finish his days on earth the way that he wanted. Man alone has a fear that no other creature on earth has, the fear of time running out. I'm the person who generally needs my books the most. It was certainly that case where I was kind of the dumb kid and this wisdom of this professor really had so much to say to me and I shared it with the world, but I also took it for me. I needed his help. The whole point was that every day is precious. If you know you're not going to get an endless amount, if you're lucky you'll get 80 years, then what do you choose to do with your tongue?